Welcome to Lyft, where we talk to cool people about the things that they're doing around the world um, and at the Lyft office. We're here today with Rob Hartsaw. Rob, welcome. Thank you. Tell us what you do. So I run a global sales organization, um, India, uh, the UK, North America, yeah. and Canada. Okay, cool. So I've got a few questions we're going to kind of fire at you real quick. Before that, we were talking before we got going here about your little hobby. You're a fisherman. I am. I am. I've been fishing. I grew up in Houston, um, a lot of water, the Bayou City down there. Yeah. Um, throwing a line after school every day, coming home. Um, and I've always just loved to fish in the outdoors. Um, that's grown to fly fishing. So whenever I travel, I always keep that in mind. And so I what's your best fish? What's the biggest fish you ever caught that nobody saw? Biggest fish I ever caught that nobody saw. Um, that would have to be... Because here's your chance to go yeah, ginormous, right? Yeah, I don't... I, uh, that would have to be a red snapper in Cabo San Lucas. Okay. Have you ever done that bone fishing stuff? I have not. Okay. I've read about that. That looks crazy. Those yes. fish that got the little the little high back thing. Yes. It looks really hard. I, I would I would love to do some fly fishing, tarpon fishing in the flats. Yep. Yep. Seeing those guys and they're up there and they're throwing the big old um, spinner out there. Yep. And, seeing it okay. explode, I would love to do that. Okay, we'll get you to Colorado some and fish some. You can teach me. I've got a little Tenkara rod that I extend. It's like cane pole fishing. It's kind of half fly fishing, but mostly cane pole fishing. I'll, I'll bring a little uh, can of worms for you. Okay, That's sweet. Good. All right, yeah. we'll be in. All right, cool. So, um, quick questions. What's your best day? My best day, my best work day is um, coming in early, um, working through North America and the rest of the globe. Yeah. Um, Getting, getting a lot of productivity, um, having a good lunch break, and then um, cleaning things up in the afternoon. Cool. Yeah. You mentioned productivity. Do you have one key for productivity for you? I don't know if I have one key, but for me, um, I gotta write it down. If I don't write it down, I have a goal, um, it'll, the, the day will get, get ahead of me and I'll, I'll lose it. So uh, I typically, I, and I'm a guy that writes. So okay. even in today's um, digital environment, I will write things down and, and get to that um, that list. What is there one key principle, business principle that you're committed to executing? Yeah. So for me, I have to always look at what's best for the customer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then balance that with the company. Uh, you know, the things that are good for the company and best for the customer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where do you find the greatest joy, or what energizes you most about your work? So. What energizes me most about work and life is seeing other people be productive mm -hmm. and um, grow in their career and their life. Cool, very cool. Yeah. Other than making money, what impact do you hope your work has? Wow, um, so I'm in the knowledge transfer business where um, we produce uh, digital, digital um, education materials. So it has a point uh, where it can enrich others' lives. So uh -huh. to make them more productive, and in some cases, in parts of the world where um, they don't have the same standard of living that uh, we do. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So Rob, what's your favorite thing about working at the Lyft office, and how has working here benefited you from a productivity standpoint? Yes, great one. So a couple things about the Lyft office I really like. Uh, number one is the flexibility. Uh, having a global organization, I'm here at all hours. Um, sometimes it's five in the morning, sometimes it's 10 o'clock at night, depending on the time zones with the team I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. So that's wonderful. Um, the other thing about the Lyft office is the culture. Huh. There's always somebody here um, willing to help out or somebody that I can help them out in their position. Cool. Rob, thanks. It's been great to hear from you. Great to learn uh, where you're going and, and uh, to meet you. It's my pleasure, Tom. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more episodes of amazing people doing really cool stuff out in the marketplace. Better yet, drop in, bring your laptop, come grab a cup of coffee with us and let's chat about certainly what we're doing here, but more importantly, what you're trying to get done with your life. Thanks for dropping by.